Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions, and I want to bring you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. On today's tip, it's not so much Chief Architect, but uh, it's kind of how I process and use uh, Chief Architect. So I start off with when I go to a sales meeting, my initial free consultation is that I want to see the space. I want to get a feeling of what the what the client potentially wants to solve or resolve with their project, um, how they envision doing that, and maybe some ideas that uh, they hadn't thought of, see if they're open to those new fresh ideas. Um, and then I take a quick few measurements in the hover app. I think I've showed you the hover app before. Um, if you haven't seen that, go on to the website hover.to and um, can kind of see what that does. It's an app on your phone. You take at least eight pictures around the space on the exterior and it will give you a, um, it will result in, you know, a 3D model. Let me show you real quick. Know if you can see this gives you a little 3d model of the space you can change uh, textures and colors and things like that on on that as a kind of 3d design um, but it also gives dimensions uh, such as this footprint it gives a whole PDF if you want um, just the roof dimensions or the whole entire dimensions that's what I get is the entire dimensions, uh, including the roof and siding and windows and all that stuff. And I so at the sales meeting, I take these eight pictures, at least eight pictures around the house. I don't have to pay for the model yet until the client signs the design agreement. And then I've got the document. I got the pictures already in the app. I hit go ahead and order. And uh, within a day or so, I get this back and I drop it into a uh printed i kind of i kind of uh, uh you can't quite see that well uh, there we go um i kind of trace this and put in the uh internal walls that i remember putting there or seeing there so that i can uh take dimensions on it on a scaled drawing now I wanted to show you all of this because as I lay this out from my dimensions, there are places where it is off. Hover isn't fully accurate. And I measured uh, 19.3 in this tool shop, but it's saying 22 foot one on the exterior. There's no way it's 22 foot one on that exterior. So um, laying things out, this window is where I measured it inside and on the exterior, I'll show you a quick picture here. Here we go. There's a picture that you can see that is at least three bricks away. So about 24 inches away from the uh, corner. And that is not where this black line would be showing, you know, so I think my yeah, my uh, my model is showing 27 inches from the corner. The, my model, my measurements are accurate and hover is not. So that's why I I say I use hover um, with the caveat that I understand it is not it is not 100% accurate. So I just wanted to share that little tip, kind of the process of of how I do use it. Interestingly, uh, this garage door is accurate. I measured that. Oh, it is not accurate. That garage door is not accurate because that garage door is, I measured at 16 feet. And they said it's 14 feet. Yeah. Other things are close, but be careful with uh, with 
you know, how, how, how heavily you rely on technology like this. It does, it does make mistakes. I should also point out that even if you don't ever order the full hover report, the best thing about this is that you've got full pictures, at least eight pictures of the full exterior of the client's home that uh, the app has forced you to take. It saves the pictures onto your phone so you can still use them. You don't have to order the full app, uh, the full report. Uh, the great thing is, is when you upload them in Hover, at least as of today's, the version that, that they have out today, you can upload them and there's a little checkbox on there that uh, says, save photos now, order later. So that um, you're, it's just uploading the photos and it's waiting for you to go ahead and order. So I like that, that it kind of forces me to take the pictures. I've got the whole context of the house of all sides. I, I know what uh, is there. I can, I can go back and look and say, hey, it looks like I forgot a window here. Uh, again, I use Hover for uh, context, a lot of context. And one of the ways that it helps me is to force me to take pictures of the entire exterior. So that's my... Uh, Tech Tip Tuesday for today. I hope you've learned something new, found this valuable. I would definitely recommend Hover, but when you use it, be careful. All right, take care. Have a great week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.